Hello, hello, children. Oh, children, I expect you to answer me by saying, hello, hello, auntie. Yeah, let's go now. Hello, hello, children. Good. So, how are you today? You're fine, right? Thank God for bringing you here today. My Lord and my God, I thank you for these wonderful children. Thank you for how you have been keeping them throughout this period of the pandemic. I pray, dear Lord, that you keep protecting them. In Jesus' name we pray. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know, then your face will surely show that you're happy and you know, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it out. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it out. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, Wonderful children. You remember that in our last lesson, I told you all that you are special and you are different. So if you know that you are different but special, I want you to lift up your hands. Yes, children, you are different but special. And you know, it, the good things that you do as children make you different but special. And you know that when you engage in bad things or when you do bad things, you know that you cannot be special, right? But when you do those good things, then you will be special, special to Jesus. I want us now to mention some of those things that are good, that makes us special to our Lord Jesus. Okay, children, let's mention them. Yes, truthfulness, when you speak the truth. Yes, can you mention another one? Yes, obedience. When you obey your daddy and your mommy, then you'll be special to Jesus. Yes, when you do those house chores, good. Then, then you'll be special to Jesus. Okay, now let's mention those bad things. Those bad things that prevent us as children from being special. Um, things like lying. When you lie. When you disobey, good. Yes, when you do those things that your mommy or your daddy asks you not to do, those things don't make you special to Jesus. Do you know in the Bible, there is someone in the Bible that did something bad. And I want you to watch it right now. I want you to look at the story about somebody in the Bible that did something very bad. Father, shall I come in? Oh, you're here. Come in, my son. Did you ask for me, father? Yes, I did. Come here. Father. Iso, I think my time is up. But I have one more desire. Just say what you want and I'll get it for you. I'm craving for a dish of venison. Can you get me one? Of course, father. I will. You will have the dish by evening today. Thank you, my son. I knew you will get me this. And after I have the meal, I shall bless you. Thanks, father. I'll be back soon. No, Jacob should be the one to receive his blessing. I must do something. Jacob! Jacob! Mother! Why are you running? What happened? Your brother? Your brother? Huh? What about Esau? No! 
your brother has been sent to a hunt game by who by your father and when he cooks the verizon for your father then he will give his blessings to him before he dies oh no what can we do now mother jacob bring a lamp a lamp what are you going to do get them quickly and i'll tell you mother here i've brought the lamp what are you going to do clean the lamp quickly we will make the dish and you are going to take this to your father and he will give me his blessings wow that's a brilliant idea but we must hurry up and do this before isu gets back but mother wouldn't father recognize me i have smooth skin and Esau is hairy. Do what I say and leave the rest to me. Do not throw away the lamb skin. We will need that to cover your hands and neck. Now, where these Esau's clothes? Ah, oh, they are stinking. Ugh, this smells of sweat and animals. And so must you. Now hold out your hands. Now these will make your hands feel hairy. Do you think these goat skin will fool him? I'm sure. Now take the food and receive your blessing and remember to talk in a deep voice. Oh god. Don't let father recognize me. Who's there? Father, it's me, Esau, your elder son. <clears throat> I've brought your dish as you had asked. Really? But you sound like Jacob. Come closer and give me your hands. I'm not Jacob. I'm your elder son. Here. Hmm. You've got hairy skin. You are Esau. But how did you return so quickly? Uh, mm, it was God. He put a game in my path and I got one. Now, will you eat? <clears throat> Now will you eat father? Yes. This could be my last meal. Hmm. This is delicious. Have some more father. Hmm. Hmm. That's enough. Father, you promised me a blessing. Come closer my son. Ah, the smell of my first born. May the God of Abraham bless you abundantly. May the kingdoms honor you. May your brothers serve you. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Now you must rest. Huh. Father, Father, who, who is it? It's me, Esau. Please get up and eat, Father. Esau, what? Didn't I just eat and bless you? What? Well, I just brought you the game you asked for. Who was it then that haunted the game and brought it to me a few moments back? I I don't understand. Yes, I ate it just before you came in and blessed him. No! Oh, I should have known when I heard that voice. It must be Jacob then. Oh, I know now that your brother came and deceitfully took your blessing. Uh, that Jacob, he's rightfully named the schemer. First he took my birthright and now now he took my blessings too. Father, haven't you got a blessing for me? I am sorry my son, but I can't give you the same blessing. I'm really sorry. Welcome back children. We can see that from that story, Jacob stole the blessing of his brother Esau. You know when you are in a classroom sitting for an examination and someone looks at your book or someone looks at your examination script by copying those answers of yours. So children tell me what has that person done? Yes, that person has cheated. 
That was exactly what Jacob did. Jacob cheated. Jacob stole the blessing of his brother Esau. So children, this day, if you decide to cheat, you will not be special to Jesus. But if you want to be special to Jesus, you have to make up your mind this day that you will no more cheat. You know, cheating and lying and even stealing go together. But if you make up your mind today that I will no more cheat, then you will be special children to Jesus. So are you ready this day to ask God for forgiveness and tell him that, Daddy, I am sorry for all those bad things that I have done. I cheated my brother or I took that thing that does not belong to me. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to tell you today that I am sorry. Okay, children, right now I want you to close your eyes as we pray. If you know you've made up your mind, close your eyes and let us pray. And repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, Forgive me my sins. Have mercy upon me. That way I've cheated my brother or in so, um, ways I've cheated my sisters. Lord, I ask for mercy this day. Forgive me, cleanse me from all the bad, bad things that I have done. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Good children, now we are now special and we are friends of our Lord Jesus, because we've decided today that we will no more cheat. God bless you, children. So our memory verse today is taken from the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 13. Children, I want you to repeat by saying Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 13. You shall not cheat your neighbor nor rob him. I want you to repeat it five times by saying, you shall not cheat your neighbor nor rob him. Okay, children, bye-bye. I miss you all. Keep doing those good things. Bye.